inland from the warm waters of the Atlantic. We are inside Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. veteran Jason Sanders ready to get us started and off we go from South Florida the return team gonna let that one go it'll go through the end zone it's a touchback so they come to the line for first down and ten Now the first carry of the game for Josh Jacobs. He'll get about two. Play is made on defense by Jordan Brooks. Hook him up on a second down and eight. From the gun, it's Love. Completes this one. That's Christian Watson. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. These are the kind of plays that when you draw them up on the chalkboard, Mike, they all look great. But if you can't protect long enough, you're never going to get the receiver. I mean, think, he started on the left side of the formation in the slot, and he has to run all the way across the field to the right third. I mean, that takes a lot of time. Let's give a lot of credit to the big guys up front. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Out of the shotgun. It's Love. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sitting duck with this pass rush. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. When you find yourself in this situation, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. It's a first carry for the veteran Raheem Mostert. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. Right back to Mostert on first down. And a determined run there inside the 40. It's a gain of nine yards. A good spot here, second and a yard. Tua on the fake, gets it to Waddle. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And... That's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. they will come to the line now on second and two. Tua gives it to Mostert. And he'll be taken down, and that's going to do it. That's the last play. This opening drive, it has been a work of art. Now, can they put the finishing touches on? It's first and goal. Here's HN. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. 
In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. Now back at the four for second and goal. Hill brought in motion. Now the Dolphins going to use the first of their timeouts. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Hill brought in motion. Out of the gun, Tungo Vailoa. The pass rush gets home, and he goes down. last two plays have gone backwards now it's third and goal from the gun here's Tua and they're gonna get to him he is sacked there is a penalty marker on the field let's check the call first Now it is first and goal. No run out of the gun. This is Mostert to the five yard line. Two minutes to play. Still searching for our first points of the half. We'll come back to Miami after this. Tua, give it to HN. And nothing develops there. It'll stay right at the five-yard line. No gain on that one. So on second down, they try to hammer it in on the ground, Mike. But now on third and goal. I don't think you have any choice but to put this ball in your quarterback's hands and test this defense through the air. A nice drive. This is the ninth play coming up. And they cash it in on third and goal. They'll run. It's Mostert. He'll take this down to the two, but that is it. Good job by the defense to hold it to a gain of three and set up fourth down. That's a timeout for Green Bay. It'll be their second as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth downs looming. So instead of going for the first down, in comes the field goal unit. Bit of a surprise here. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Dolphins will take a 3-0 lead. You know, I think it's safe to say here, Mike, as this offense leaves the field, they wanted to stay out there and go for it. But I think in this case, the coach is playing the long game. He understands that these three points now can end up being very valuable as this game moves along. They'll come up here first and ten. Throwing is love. This one on target, it's Dobbs. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. On second down, love. He'll get that complete to Dontavian Wicks. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. On first and ten, here's Love. The catch is made. This is Tucker Kraft. 
First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays, and these drag routes can be very, very effective. That's caught downfield, Dobbs. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the 10. To throw is Love. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground, and it's an incomplete pass. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here, and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but they seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. Here's another shot from the six at second and goal. Love to throw. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. And now a timeout. Seven seconds left in this first half. That last sack is exactly why defensive coaches preach over and over. Just play the next down. Just continue to make them snap the ball again. You're one big defensive play from changing everything about this drive. And what once looked like a promising drive, following that sack, looks a little bit different now. From the gun on third down, that's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Play action. Tug of Iloa. He's going to let this one go deep. He's got it and he's out of bounds but they take it to the red zone inside the 20. coach thank you both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half coming up just one score one lone field goal all these two teams could muster in half number one what awaits us here in the second half and it'll be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drop. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. That's an RPO quickly into the hands of Waddle. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. What a way to kick off the drive. That's a gain of 30 and another first down. They'll run. It's Mostert. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Here's second and three to go. That's caught on the right side by Waddle. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. That's to Waddle again. And he's into the end zone. Jalen Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. 
He's there, balls delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. And no chance to return this one. Through the end zone for a touchback. play fake. Here's Love. A throw on the move is caught. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. A run up the middle with Jacobs. And he gets this up close to the 40. Play is made on defense by Jordan Brooks. Love. He's got a man. That's Watson. They get 18 on the pitching catch. First down, Packers. From the gun, here comes Jacobs. And he'll get two on this one before being taken down. A second down throw for Love. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. First and 10. So, points at... Love to throw on first and ten. Hit as he threw it. The pass is incomplete. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much spun the jump. And they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. A good play action with Love. Pressure gets there, and down he goes. We spent so much time talking about quarterbacks and the special plays that they can make, and of course that's a big part of playing quarterback in the NFL. But also, can you avoid the bad plays? Do you know when the fight is over and live to play another down? Don't take that sack. Throw the ball away, get back out there on third down, and give yourself a chance. Here's Love to throw. He'll let this one rip, looking for Watson. And the Dolphins will take over here, just shy of the 30. Well, I think by now, Mike, we know where the biggest mismatch of this game has been. This defense is all over this passing game. Everywhere they look, they have defenders in the right spot. They've resulted now in three interceptions all while forcing this offense to try to adjust their game plan on the fly. Now a first down throw for Tua. That's caught downfield by Waddle. Take this one in. 71 yards. 